face to face but they are not saying answer to answer question to question this is what they fear but face to face when the Christians ask Muhammad to debate him Muhammad did not say let us debate face to face Muhammad he said let us have a Christian party because he's a coward bring your wives and bring my wives bring your goat I bring my goat and let us invoke curse upon the one is lying who is lying here have you ever heard of such a debate so a real debate in Islam is going to be as the following read with me carefully what the Quran is saying and love if anyone dispute in this matter which means about Jesus now after the full knowledge has come to you amazing knowledge man this is the full knowledge come come say to them say to them come okay come 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 you know you see uh, hijab was saying to David Wood show me answer me no no this is not the way to do Islam he says come let us get together gather together our sons and your sons our women and your women okay is that to debate no ourselves and yourself okay what is this gathering for party have dinner what no then let us pray to invoke curse on the one is lying I mean this is the most stupid debate ever so I will take the mic I will say Christian Prince your turn I say may Allah cut my nose if I'm lying your turn you take the mic you say may Allah close the door of the van over my fingers if I'm lying your turn I take the mic okay may Allah make a hole in my shoe if I'm lying your turn I mean this is the most stupid debate ever this is a debate it's a cursing party and then according to Islam the one who get tired first keep that they keep you keep doing that for like I mean two days the one who get tired first is the is a loser <laughs> same time here anyone notice something stupid in this statement anyone notice something stupid something extremely stupid additional to this at the end of the verse do you see at the end of the verse it says curse the one who is lying I will explain to you how stupid the statement is if I debate a Muslim and he has been honest and he said to me Muhammad is a prophet yes he believed in a lie but he's not lying correct this is his belief if a Muslim says to me in heaven there's versions he believed in a lie but he's not lying which mean he himself is telling me what he believed lie lie you lie if you say something you don't believe in correct if you say something and you know something else that is a lie if I say to you did you eat the food and you are the one who ate the food that is a lie but if you believe you did not eat the food let us say this person is unaware he is um, you know uh, he was under drugs and he did something when he's under drugs he did not know I did not do it he's not lying if I speak to a person he's a Hindu and he said to me I believe in this God he's wrong but he's not lying he's telling me what he believed so here you will see that Muhammad because he have the mentality of a liar he assumed that anyone who speak to him he see him as a liar it's like saying to me let us invoke God to see who is the whore why because he knew who he is Otherwise, nobody said to you, you are a whore. We are just asking to see the truth. What does this have to do with lying? Unless you yourself, you are a liar. And because you are a liar, you feel always, as a liar, you feel guilty. It's like a thief, he is wanted by the police. The second he hears the, 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 the car of the police coming, he runs because he thinks it's coming for him. That is a very stupid answer and cannot be from God. Do we have any Muslim here? All right, guys. I want to say thank you for everybody. I want to say thank you again for those who they are helping us with donation. I really appreciate you. Uh, even though you don't need me to mention that. Uh, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate the gentleman who called us and he became a Christian. He accepted the Messiah. I pray from my heart for him and for his family to open their heart to receive him, to accept him, to 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 uh, to support him. Uh, I, I pray that the Lord, he will send him good friends, good people to be around him. And I always through my life the Lord he put in the front of me in my way wonderful people even though I do extremely dangerous stuff the Lord is always with me when you are with the Lord the Lord is with you so we pray for everybody for all the Muslims we love them we don't hate them we might shout at you we might scream when we speak to you just because we love you when you see your friend your son your daughter your family your brother is taking drugs you don't shout at them to stop taking drugs because you hate them but because you want to save them and this is exactly what we do Islam is nothing but the drugs God is not a vagina vendor God is not a pimp to make his house a pimp house God is not dirty filthy God is not stupid God is not ignorant God is not hateful person God is not evil and that is all your God sadly my friend I invite you Muslims to believe in the true God the Messiah 
the Lord of peace the king of peace the one who said things nobody said before love your enemy and nobody will say after and until now after 2,000 years of Jesus you will not find in the United Nations someone there to say love your enemy after all what they claim about the human rights nobody can come with this love your enemy plus those who curse you that is my Lord so think carefully about who is your Lord and why you are following him and why you are not with my Lord the one who teach what we just heard together thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again remember in the coming Wednesday look like we will have a debate from with the Muslim he claimed to be a scholar from Nigeria for sure we have a week from now but look like you know this gentleman from Nigeria he's organizing this so I hope we will have a good time and maybe we can bring this person to Christ and as long as you have many 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 followers that would be a very good opportunity to uh, expose this cult loud and open thank you very much May the Lord bless you and enter. We see you soon again.